Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about literal equations, and we're going to solve each equation for the indicated variable. So, if I was given this equation, u equals k over a, and we need to solve that for a, okay? So if u equals k over a, we need to solve that for a. So what I need to do then is I'm going to, I'm going to rewrite this equation, u equals k over a, and we're solving that for a, so there's a few ways to go about this. And this one, I'm actually, I'm going to multiply a to both sides. And I know what you're thinking, like, wait, no, no, if you multiply a to both sides, you're just adding a to the other side. I know. But I, I, I prefer solving the problem this of, sorry, solving the problem this way. By multiplying a to both sides, I limited my a's there, leave me a k on the left. And then I have a times u, oh, sorry, a k on the right, and a times u on the left. But now it's just one more step, right? I can divide by a u to both sides, and that leaves me with an a on the left by itself and a k over u on the right, and a is already isolated now, and it's on the left-hand side, and it already looks nice and neat. And so my final answer here is just a equals k over u. So let's recap. We started with u equals k over a, and we're going to solve that for a. So when I rewrote my equation, I decided that I was actually, because I don't like things in the denominator. I brought everything up, so I multiplied both sides by a, leaving me with a times u on the left and a k on the right. k is isolated at that moment, but that's not what we're solving for. We're solving for a. So then I divided by u to both sides, because that was the opposite of that multiplication. And what that did was eliminate the u's on the left, and get, uh, leave me with an a on the left by itself, and that equaled a k over u on the right. And a was first, so it's fantastic. It made it nice and neat already. And so my final answer here is a equals k over u.